when you join a Zoom meeting, your background can be sometimes a bit embarrassing. Here is how to change your background. And there's a few ways of doing it. The first thing that we want to do is just blur the existing background. That's really nice and easy. So before I join the Zoom meeting or when I'm in the meeting, I can click on backgrounds and I'll show you how to do this. I'm just going to click on blur and watch what happens to my background. There we are. So that just makes it a little bit more professional and a, a bit less distracting. Now, you may not have this option here, so let's show you where it is in Zoom itself. When you go into Zoom, I'm going to leave this meeting, and you go into Zoom, and if you hover over in the top right, this is on your laptop, you'll hover over the top right and go to settings here. And that is where you can go down to video and effects. And then you can blur your background. Turn, turn off the blur. That's none. Now, you've got some other options, which is you might want to choose one of these pictures. Uh, there's not, not a great range here. Or what you might like to do, well, so this one's actually a video. But what you might like to do is really add your own picture. So let me show you how to do that. So I've just uh, taken a picture of our uh, sunset here, just at the back of our place, back of our house, looking at the beautiful Blue Mountains of Sydney, in the west of Sydney. So I'm going to upload that picture to Canva and create that as a background. Okay, so here I am in the free version of Canva, and I want to create a design and I want to be going 1280 by 720. This is for a laptop background. I could type that in or I'll simply click on this one here. And now all I'm going to do, I've got some templates here which I could use uh, for my background, but I'm not going to use any of those. I just want to upload my latest photo. So I click on upload there. And there's the picture there. And it will just look a little bit more, a little bit nicer than what we what we had before with the San Francisco picture. And there we are, okay? So you can do adjustments if you want, but that's my design. I'm going to call this one Zoom um, Background. And I'm just going to save that. And it's suggesting it as a PNG, that's great. So I'm saving that file, and now what I'm going to do is go back into Zoom, and once again go to the settings, and here we want to go into settings here, video and effects, and virtual background. And this time what I want to do is add an image or video. And you can do this with a video as well, add, add an image. Just going to add that one there open and now when whenever i am logged into zoom then as myself then i'll see that zoom background i can always turn it off but i'm going to keep that in there in zoom and now let me just join a zoom meeting here's a new meeting and there we are there's my background which looks pretty good and uh, I can, and <clears throat> I'm actually displaying the preview when I join the meeting. And if for some reason you want to turn off your background image, that's easy to do. You go even within a Zoom meeting, you can see I've got the audio here, I've got the video. See that up arrow next to the video? Just click on that. And here is where I can adjust the background and effects. I could simply blur my background. Of course, that's only if I've got a real background here. This is just a photo, so I can't blur that. And so adjust background and effects. And here is where I could change my background from the picture that I added to having no background at all, or to have a blurred background, or back to my picture. Okay, and that's it. That is how to add a virtual background in Zoom. There is a link in the description below which will give you access 
to other instructions from Zoom itself and some other virtual backgrounds in case you want to use them.